If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out EasyNPC.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Now, today I want to discuss some of the new leaked, wait well not leaked, but data mined items that have came out in Fallout 76. And, does this all have to be going on while I'm trying to record? Like, seriously? Right, never mind, I think it's over. Yeah, but I want to discuss some of the date mined items. I'm not going to be talking about all of them, you know, because there has been a hell of a lot of date mined items recently. I'll leave that up to Jersey Ghost to make his video, which he always does, to cover everything. So go check him out if you want to see what is coming in and what's in store for us in the future. But I want to talk about the exciting stuff. So there's some new fashion art masks which are coming into Fallout 76. I will put them on the screen now while I run around and kill these stupid bloody mongrels and stuff. That's distracting me. So yeah, as you can see, there are three new masks coming to the Fashion App Parade. There may be more items being added in. I'm not sure, not 100%. No one knows exactly until it gets all properly announced. But this is just three of the masks which have been data mined. Now, if you're wondering when Fashion App is, it is at the second half of February. I'm not sure on the exact date. Let me double check for you. The exact date of Fashion App is... I believe the 16th to the 22nd, but I can't see because the writing on it is very small. But yeah, 16th to the 27th for Fashion Art. Now, the other thing I want to talk about in this video, which I clickbaited the title with, as you will see, and you know, someone will probably dislike it, but hey-ho. As you can see right now, I'm running around dressed as a feral ghoul. And if you remember, this feral ghoul outfit came to the Atomic Shop uh, a couple of months ago now and made you wander around the wasteland looking like you were a ghoul. Now, exciting thing coming up, which is also being data mined, is the fact that there is a super mutant outfit coming to Fallout 76, which is going to make you look like a super mutant. Now, I'm really excited for this. I've been a massive, like, pusher for, you know, wanting to be, like, a Fallout 76, wait, not Fallout 76, a Fallout game that comes out which allows you to be a super mutant and stuff. I think that would be awesome if you could be a super mutant, a ghoul, not a scorch, because, you know, they don't really talk and stuff. But yeah, anything like that, I've always thought would be really cool if that was like a thing. Maybe be a sim for something, who knows? Like, give us the option, kind of like in Skyrim, how you can be like an uh, Argonian or a Khajiit. It'd be really cool to have a Fallout game where you could do that. And who knows, hopefully Fallout 5 will allow us to do something like that. Because it'd be, it'd be awesome. But yeah, there is a few of the date mind items which I wanted to talk about today. And yeah, these are the ones that really stuck out for me. And I just thought were really cool and I wanted to share them with you. But yeah, like I say, if you want to see all of the data mine stuff, no doubt Jersey Ghost will be working on a data mine video showing all of them and should be up anytime soon. So go check him out if you want to see every little bit and bob coming into the game. But for now, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think about this new outfit and the new masks coming to Fashion Art. I know Fashion Art is a really just... It comes to the game too often now. Like It was originally, I believe, meant to be like once a year thing. But then they decided, no, let's keep adding it in constantly. And like before Christmas, we had it like, what, three, four times, same as Meat Week. It was it was ridiculous. We got it way too much. And it kind of made everyone a bit bored of it and a bit like non-excited about it. So it'd be cool to have them added back in and only be like once a year. I hope that changes at some point and hopefully we get some new events rather than just the same two events constantly because... It gets a bit naff when it's just the two, especially with the Halloween event that got cancelled and then said we got fashion at. But hey ho, never mind. I'm not turning this into a negative video. I just wanted to share these cool items with you. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be awesome. Yep, well, that's it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.